Now, I am going to show you how to have such alignment in your references. Firstly, select all. Click line spacing options. Under the special tab, select hanging. OK, and you are done. Here is how you create a table of contents where you can hyperlink to the title like this. This and this. Firstly, you will want to give your title a label for headings. In this case, I will be using heading 1. You can also use heading 2 for the title of your subtopic. Sometimes, you might need to use up to heading 3. After you have done that, make a page break so that you could insert the table of contents. From there, look for the table of contents tab. Select the style you prefer and you are done. Also, you can change the case of the words by pressing Shift and F3. Double click on the footer, click on the bottom of the page and look for the style you want. And you are done. Place your mouse cursor in front of the first word and select the page which is under the section breaks. Now the pages are break into sections. You can check it from here. From there, do the same steps as previous, but this time, the page starts at 1, and you are done. Usually, we see the first few pages starts with Roman's number. So here is how you do it. Because we already separate the section just now, you will only need to change the page formatting in section 1, and you are done. After you have changed the page number, don't forget to update your table of contents. Here is how you label page number 1 at the second page of the document. Double click on the footer, select different page. Look for the page number tab, click format page number, starts at 0, and you are done.